don't get scared by this image on your screen. The purpose of displaying this image is just to let you know that there are a whole lot of things involved when it comes to similarity search. And we are not going to discuss all of those nitty gritties for similarity search in this video, because in order to drive a car, you don't need to know how the internal mechanics of the car works. So having said that, this image is from the paper about product quantization and other similarity search related methods from Yusuki Matsui, and I will put the link in the video's description. Let's have a quick look in very simple words. What exactly is a sim similarity search? Well, given a set of vectors in any number of dimensions, the model which builds a data structure in RAM, and after the data structure is constructed, we are given a new vector in dimension, it performs efficiently the search operation. So in other words, if you have a huge data set and it doesn't fit in the RAM, the similarity search only brings in the relevant data into the RAM to perform the search. This is what similarity search is all about in, at a very, very high level. Now, we are going to discuss what is the FIS or FAIS. FAIS stands for Facebook AI Similarity Search. It is a library that allows developers to quickly search for embeddings of multimedia documents that are similar to each other. It solves the limitations of traditional query search engines that are optimized for hash-based searches and provide more scalable similarity search functions. With FAIS, developers can search multimedia documents in ways that are inefficient or impossible with standard database engines, which I mean SQL or structured query language. FIS also includes nearest neighbor search implementation of million to billion scale data sets that optimize the memory speed accuracy trade-off. FIS aims to offer state-of-the-art performance for all operating points. FIS contains algorithms that search in sets of vectors of any size and also contains supporting code for evaluation and parameter tuning. Some of its most useful algorithms are implemented on the GPU. FIS is implemented in C++ with an optional Python interface and GPU supports via Coda. I hope that this was useful. If you have any feedback, please put it in the comment section. Thank you.